special visit to Papa Linda Twala of African Tinkon in Alessandra, Joburg, South Africa. African Tinkon is an NGO developing the young people. Papa Linda Twala show us so many things, tell us so many historical story of a South African icon of which he was part of them. Okay. Hello, African. Yes, I'm here with one of our grandfather, the man that has been behind all the poor and all the people that need the rights, their rights to be heard in Alexandra. I'm here in Joburg, and Alexandra is a kind of place that people always say don't go there, don't go there. But I've been here and I've seen so much love, and I'm here with the, the our grandfather and the leader of all the leaders. They call him the Twala, and the. I've been having a chat with him. He has given us time to, to educate us, to make us understand why Africa need to unite. So, uh, if you are the first time uh, watching this on uh, YouTube, please subscribe and uh, like. So, you see more of it on our YouTube channel, uh, Home TV 247, and all the uh, documentary channel. So, we love you, and African, like we, he, he said something that's so important that. Uh, like which which it give me a, 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 a goosebump. Like, why on earth will, will you as an African want to destroy an African? Why are you selling drugs to the youngster out there? Oh, yes. Why are you selling drugs to the Africans? It doesn't make any sense. But whatever you are doing, remember that uh, karma is just a bitch which will come back to you, and when you are caught, you'll be punished. That's Queen Elizabeth, and she visited Alexandria. And that's uh, Desmond Tutu. This is the young chef boy. That's Mandela in Morocco when he went to see these chefs. This chef. That's his death certificate. That's, this is the guy I'm talking about who was buried in uh, Tanzania. Now, these are the graves. He's in one of these graves in Tanzania, in Morokoro. So the grandmother, the mother, wants his son back urgently because he's aging. Now, it is in that's when they would, when he was buried. That's Mandela when he visited Morocco to visit these guys. So I'm betting to make sure that uh, his burial takes place here in South Africa. If things go well, I hope I am going to succeed in this battle of making sure that he bring his remains to South Africa so that the mother should be happy. So, these are some of the things that I do. It's just unfortunate because you found me busy and as, as I was phoning, I was going out because my duty is to serve. I was born to serve, not to distract. I don't want to be called a leader. I'm not a leader, it's just a calling. I'm here to save God's children. And that's all I can say. Okay, sir. This is when I was refusing to forgive. But when he came to say, uh, Mandela says, that there be no bloodshed in our country. I then said, I am going to forgive, but I'll never forget the past. That's when we hugged each other. That's Big Porter. Some of the guys were involved in the bombing of our house. in America and then uh, he got married that side and when he divorced his wife after that Trump locked him, jail, locked him in jail so I had to print some papers which I have somewhere around here for him to be released and these are some of the children project could help this young chap is worried about teenage pregnancy. So that is why we are trying our very best to get 
as to be the chief of uh, SA Army. And this is the funeral of uh, Adley Tambo, and that's the funeral of Kapunya. Uh, Some of the pictures are not here. I thought I was going to show you a picture of my grand, my sister's grandson, who was killed in the army in the Republic of Congo. Yeah. So that is all I gave to me. He was the first to live in Alexandria in 1903. In 1912, when Alexander was to be renamed, because it was called Zanfontein in those years, he asked my grandparents, which name can we use? They said, please use your wife's name. She was Lady Alexander. Vasco da Gama, Roosevelt, London, Selpon, those were the lawyers then who were selling properties in Alexander. So I was born in this yard, in that very old house that you saw there. And we schooled here. So I've spent all my life here in Alexandra. So I'm just hoping that uh, whilst I'm still alive, if I can see our children or our mothers, land, we need to decensify Alexandra. We need more land. And for us to get more land, I think now that uh, we are going to have a new leadership, we're going to discuss this because we need more land in order for us to teach and inspire Alexander. Well, here they call me funeral philanthropist because of the work that I've done in Alex. Maybe lastly, I can show you this. This I'm celebrating now for this. I'm celebrating my 55 years serving God's children. Community builder of the That's when I was 10 years old. As you can see, the age is going on. And then another thing the continents. Alexandra is mother of all the townships. President Mandela also stayed in Alexandra. Samora Marshall from Mozambique also stayed in Alexandria, and all the musicians, you can name them. Even some of the guys that are in parliament, most of them are from Alex. So, Alexandria has produced lots and lots of leaders. But when he went overseas, that's when Mandela, the king of the Zulus, with uh, Zuma here, when they went to say goodbye. So I had to write this for him to be released. So he has been released and I'm hoping that any time he'll come home. And Papa Leader Twala has been contributing morally, financially to development of South Africa, most especially in Alessandra, South Africa, Joe Borg. So sir, thank you so much for the love and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much and God bless you. And please make an appeal to the outside world. We need help. We need them more than ever before. So with those few words, I'd like to say to you, may God in all his bounty mercy give you the strength of a lion and the wisdom of a Solomon in all your endeavors. Amen.